A jury gave him a chance, but a Beaumont man found guilty of manslaughter may find himself behind bars for up to a decade. 20-year-old Jonathan Benitez was sentenced to 10 years probation and six months in jail for an accident that decapitated 16-year-old Mandy Lee in May of last year. Benitez hit a wire cable attached to a utility pole near the intersection of South Street and 5th. Prosecutors say his recklessness and the way he Lee died should have led to a jail sentence. Today, Benitez was back in Judge John Stevens' courtroom. The district attorney's office filed a motion to revoke probation. The DA says Benitez committed five probation violations, including assault of a family member and becoming intoxicated. Because Benitez did not have an attorney, Judge Stevens appointed one and reset the hearing for December. Judge Stevens said although the court has not determined anything yet, he told Benitez, quote, the jury stepped their neck on the line, giving you the opportunity to show good. We'll see whether their faith in you was ill-founded or not. KFTM talked with Jefferson County Adult Probation Services to learn more about probation and what it means when someone breaks those rules. We try to put people into the right programs to where they can lead productive lives, get them training, get them some type of treatment or help wherever they need it. And it's, it's a letdown to all of us when one of them do violate the terms and conditions of their court order. Mandy's picture is displayed in the living room as a daily reminder of the daughter and sister they lost. Well, to my little sister, because she was in an accident, so he replays in her mind every night and all the time. He's going to keep doing whatever he did, yeah. so there's no point of letting him out. That's my opinion. Judge Stevens appointed attorney Sonny Cribs to represent Benitez. Benitez could face up to 10 years in prison and fines. The Lee family plans to be in court for his next hearing.